and uh, welcome to my channel, guys. Uh, we're trying something different today. I got a friend of mine that has a place at uh, La France Marina. The tide's real low today, so it's kind of scary going to a place where you've never been before. But I'm going to give it a shot. Uh, probably end up at the same places I've been before. I just wanted to try something different. They say in the wintertime it's good trout fishing over here. So we'll see. The tide's real low. Maybe when it comes up, might be redfish, might be flounder. Who knows what I'm going to catch. We'll stay tuned. We'll got some nice live shrimp, though. That's one positive that I haven't had in a while. So they do have live shrimp at the Fonce Marina. So we'll see if those live shrimp get on some, some good fish. So stay tuned. Good little walk from the, the launch I had to use. That's how low the water is. Well, I ended up at Half Moon Bay, Half Moon Island, Grand Isle, AKA Grand Isle. I got a nice fat 16, 15 inch trout on, uh, I cheated today. I got some live shrimp from that marina. See, that's why I went to that marina because I wanted to try some live shrimp. So I'm here at Half Moon Island, beautiful place. I love this place. Or maybe because it's called Grand Island too, but we're gonna see if they got some more. Uh, I'm trying to get some flounder too. We'll see, stay tuned, baby. Got some live bait today. Another good one right there, baby. About 16 inches. I'm using that cog. You know I don't like to use a cog, but hey, I had to catch some fish today, man. Got some live shrimp and cog right here in this little current. See that current going in this corner right here? That's what you got to look for. You can't just go where there's nothing. Today's a day with low, low, low current. Low, low, hardly any tide, but it's barely moving around. Just enough to get them fish to stay right there. That's what I was after right there, guys, huh? Look at that doormat. Oh, man, that's beautiful. That's what I was after. Right there on that point. He came up and got it. A little patience. Right there in that current. Look at that. That's bad trout. That might be the biggest trout I caught at this island for sure. That's about 17 inches. That's a two-pounder, man. Biggest trout I caught out of here yet. Huh? Oh, man. Getting excited here. Hang in there, baby. We're putting a hammer down them on Half Moon Island, man. This is Louisiana water over here, so you can keep them. You know, I'm keeping some 13s and 14s, but I got some big ones. So, uh, beautiful day, and uh, got a little bait stirring right there, and they're catching them every cast, man. It's all good. I got a big old beautiful flounder in there, and uh, it's a beautiful day. Those live shrimp are doing the ticket. I didn't try the plastic yet. I might try it, but... Uh, this beautiful island, also known as Grand Island. Two days before a full moon, man. These trout are eating it up. Looks like about 14 inches legal over here in Louisiana waters. Yep. They're eating it up. Eating it up. You see the bait popping out of the water right there? Man, these live shrimp making a difference, though. I switched to plastic, and they're getting a little fatter. A little bit fatter, that's about 14 inches. Got a little girth on it. Let's see, we'll see if we can get some more on that, that swim bait. That's that trout candy. I got tired of throwing that shrimp with a cork. I've been catching these fish in about, uh, these trout in about three and a half feet of water. Uh, they, I caught on shrimp under a cork. They love that, but I caught plenty on plastic. There's plenty of fish here, there's a lot of uh, releases, you know. 10, 12, 13. I've been letting go all the 12, just keep trying to keep a little bit thicker ones. But I'm, I'm, I'm gonna put a shrimp on, on a jig head and see if I can't get another doormat. That's my plan next. So stay tuned, if it works, I'll let you see it. And if it don't, I'll let you know. But uh, I'm gonna try to drag a, a shrimp on the bottom with a little jig head in, on that point where I caught that other big one. So we'll see. My plan, <laughs> my plan worked another freaking doormat. Look at that big old flounder. Woo, man. My plan worked. I felt that thumping. Just dragging that shrimp on that little jig head. Quarter ounce. That's a one eighth jig head. Caught several of these 12 inches. 12 inch trick of flounder. Beautiful fish. We got two big giant doormats, but we're going to let those go. Uh huh. Look at that hammer, boy. Uh huh. On the, I put that, uh, a greenish silver color. What the heck we call that color uh, on, the, on the overcast swim bait with a one-eighth jig head. 
that's what I'm catching these big ones on. That's I am. That's uh, fat, fat too. Got off them shrimp. I, I reused all them shrimp. <laughs>